Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video all about herpes, which has been highly requested. So I'm gonna go very specific into HSV one and two today. However, before I do, I have a giveaway that I want to include in this video before we start. So I have partnered up with New Zest to bring you the most delicious vegan protein giveaway. Um, I've partnered with them in the past because I love this company so, so, so much. Every client that I have that is vegan, this is a protein that I recommend because it's so creamy, it doesn't have a gritty texture, it tastes delicious, and the ingredients are very, very clean and minimal. So um, in order to win, Newsus will be giving a starter pack to one lucky winner, which I do believe includes three um, tubs of the mini proteins and um, your own uh, shaker bottle as well. So all you have to do to enter, uh, the steps will be in the description box below, but it's gonna be very simple. I just wanted to show you some of my favorite flavors. This is probably one of my top, which is their vanilla matcha. Super, super good with um, some coconut milk and blend it up with some ice. It tastes amazing. Um, if you're into coffee, they have a coconut coffee MCT. Sorry, this camera doesn't like to focus sometimes. There you go. Coconut coffee MCT, which is extremely creamy. They also have, which is one of my absolute favorites, um, wild strawberry, super delicious. And I actually just made a recipe with this on Instagram, um, a donut hole recipe. And their rich chocolate's really good. They have a really delicious uh, chai one. So definitely, um, you know, get excited about this giveaway. It is very, very exciting. So to enter, um, I'm not asking for too much, guys. The first thing that I would like you to do is head to my website, holisticspring.com, and um, subscribe to my newsletter. If you scroll all the way down on the page, there'll be a sign up. Um, and why I'm asking you to do this is not to promote products and things like that. I strictly just want to get as many of you guys, of my followers, over to my email list in case I do ever get deleted from YouTube or Instagram. Instagram, which can definitely happen. I have another way to reach all of you. So that's the only reason why I'm asking you to do that. Step two is to head to Instagram. And I know you guys don't like when we do Instagram connected giveaways, but um, unfortunately that's where like New Zest is hanging out and that's where I'm hanging out. And so um, we do want to grow those platforms. So if you can go head over there and give New Zest a follow as well as myself, um, you don't need to comment on any photos or anything like that, but just, just do those two things. When those two steps have been completed, you can comment down below and just say completed. And um, this giveaway is open to Canada and US followers. So all that will be in the description box below, but I encourage you to enter. It is a delicious and amazing giveaway and News Us is an awesome company. So without further ado, we are going to jump into this virus video. So many of you have heard about herpes simplex virus. Many of you have it. It is a, an extremely common virus. It is actually a human DNA virus. More people have it than they realize, um, but sometimes it's just dormant in the body for a long time. Typically the um, HS1 is more, um, triggers more things like cold sores and then HS2 virus is more your genital um, herpes. So those are the two differences. Sorry guys, I have my notes here. Um, this video is a very spur of the moment and I didn't have time to like read through it all to remember everything that I wanted to talk about. So I will be looking down. Um, but yeah, HSV1, like I said, is your cold sore. It triggers cold sores, whereas the genital herpes are usually more HSV2. So it's typical to have both or you can have one or without the other. Um, it just really depends. Again, most people have it and people get really um, stressed out when they have it, when they get the cold sores. They're like, I feel awful. I can't believe I have herpes. But to be honest, most people do. It's just insane, but it, it gets transmitted so easily through usually just through touching like the, the open wound. But if you think about how many people have it and then will touch their wound and then go touch your doorknob at the shopping mall or the buggies in your, in your grocery store, it is so easy to contract this. So um, if you have it, there are definitely things you can do to manage it and slowly get rid of it. So that's what we're gonna walk through today. This virus is highly contagious. So if you do have it, the first thing that I'm gonna say is just do your best to keep your hands super clean. Don't touch the sores, um, you know, all of that just to help reduce the um, contagiousness of it. Um, so typically, um, what will happen is after the initial virus attack, the virus usually goes dormant, typically in the um, nerve ganglion. It's dominant in your nerve ganglions. And it will kind of stay dormant in there for a little while after its initial flare up. It does often recur during acute attacks of illnesses or if you're really, really stressed. So say a family member passes away, that can definitely trigger um, a flare up. 
if you have a really bad cold or flu, your immune system gets really weakened and that's when the viruses will come out to play because they know there's no immune system to kind of kill them off. Um, a lot of times they will come out in response to heat. If the weather gets really hot out, it's very common for them to flare up as well. So those are a few triggers. Um, it, sometimes you'll see it comes in cycles. You get um, you know, a flare up here and there. It's not very consistent all the time. It really depends on your lifestyle. There are some other factors um, and recommendations that I wanna go through. The first thing to do if you have herpes or any virus and you don't want it to flare up and cause issues in your body, you have to have a really good diet. So viruses will like thrive off of an acidic and damp uh, environment in your body. Foods that make your body acidic and damp are sugars and dairy and lots of processed and refined foods, really inflammatory foods. They take up a lot of time from your immune system. Your immune system is working on trying to eliminate those from the body, the, the bad foods that the viruses have nothing keeping them in check and that's when they can come out to play. So having a really good, clean and balanced diet is so important to keeping those um, in check in the body. Avoiding caffeine is huge. Caffeine completely suppresses your immune system, like completely, and it also uh, strains your adrenals. And as soon as this happens, viruses, again, there's no police in your body to keep them and you know guard them, so they just come out and they thrive, and that's when cold sores pop out and things like that. Highly recommend watching your caffeine intake. Um, obviously, avoiding sugar and alcohol is a huge factor as well. Um, you, again, you want to keep your inflammatory foods out of your diet as much as possible. Um, something that's really, really important is to keep a really alkaline diet. So lots of leafy green vegetables, some fresh fruit, whole grains, legumes, limit your animal products, um, and again, sugars and processed foods. Something that you guys might not know is that you want to avoid foods that are high in arginine. So chocolate is at the top, um, nuts especially, peanuts are pretty high in arginine, um, sesame seeds, um, beer, gelatin, and soy. So there are quite a few foods that are high in arginine. You can get a full list on Google. Um, if you have herpes, the most important is just watch your chocolate intake. And I'm not saying never have chocolate and eat all these foods, but just you don't want to overdo it. You want to be careful. Um, another thing too is arginine will suppress lysine in your body. These are amino acids and um, lysine is the amino acids that kind of retards the herpes virus, the herpes uh, growth. Um, so you want to make sure that when you're eating arginine, it's in small amounts so that you're not depleting lysine from the body. If you want to have extra lysine in your body, you can supplement with lysine, which is a fantastic antiviral, or you can eat foods that are high in lysine, typically your eggs, fish, dairy products, um, and some meat. Those are some foods that are high in lysine. So um, I've gone through my main list of recommendations and dietary changes and things that you can do. I wanna start getting into some of the supplements that I have written down um, that I believe are probably some of the better ones that you can take, not just to keep herpes in check, but slowly reverse it. I do have a video that I filmed a little while ago talking about the best antivirals to take. I went into you know hydrosol silver and things like that. That video can go hand in hand with this one, so make sure you watch both to get a good complete rounded knowledge on how to tackle viruses. Um, some of the first things that I always tell people to take if you um, have any virus in the body, not just herpes, are probiotics and lysine. So again, you want to supplement with that amino acid. You can buy powder or capsule form um, and get lots of that amino acid up in your body. Probiotics are so important because they keep your gut healthy and 70 to 80 percent of your immune system resides within your digestive system so making sure you get probiotics to keep that immune system healthy is a huge factor and a huge component to fighting the herpes virus um the other thing that is really important and this is like a little hack that you can do if you have a flare-up if you are currently in a flare-up, a herpes flare-up, you want to do a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, aluminum-free, every day in some water um, during the outbreak only. However, if you have kidney stones, kidney disease, renal failure, high creatinine levels, any kidney issues, you don't want to do this. If your kidneys are working fine and you don't have anything you know, going wrong with that, then you can give this trick a try and just do it every day and it does help to kind of combat that virus. Zinc is really, really important as well. You can use um, zinc to help 
build up and boost your immune system. Uh, your immune system uses a lot of zinc. Um, it does help prevent eruptions as well, so you can continue zinc even if you don't have uh, an outbreak. Um, another thing too is uh, vitamins A and C. These have a lot of bioflavonoids um, and they can definitely help in the recovery of your skin and your tissues after a outbreak. So you can do um, a powdered vitamin C. And my favorite form, however, is liposomal vitamin C. Live on Labs has a really good vitamin C. Um, I have a whole blog post going into vitamin C on my website, holisticspring.com, if you're interested. Um, but the liposomal vitamin C is definitely one of the top for me in, in terms of getting a good quality form in your body that's highly absorbable. Um, what else do I have here? Ooh, I did put vitamin E. This is something that a lot of people overlook and they forget to take vitamin E, but it is a powerful antioxidant and so good for the immune system. It's definitely something I say get in your supplement routine. It was it helped me so much when I had psoriasis um, and Epstein-Barr, and it's just an amazing antioxidant that a lot of us don't take. You can get it through nuts and seeds and things like that, but I, but I feel like we don't eat enough of that or at least absorb enough of it to get enough vitamin E. So supplement with a good vitamin vitamin E and if you have cold sores um, or sores even in your mouth from the virus lactobacillus acidophilus is a good probiotic strain to take that will really help with the mouth you can even open up the capsule and pour it and get it all over your mouth and your teeth and your gums and that can definitely help um, so that's lactobacillus acidophilus a couple other things that I have listed here are fish oils. Fish oils are really important because not only are they anti-inflammatory, but they are so good for uh, building up your immune system. Your immune system needs lots and lots of fats, and this is a perfect way to get it in. Um, so definitely getting some fish oil, or if you're vegan, a, a vegan essential fatty acid formula, a good 369 is really important. Um, the other couple things that I personally use that is not vegan but has worked incredibly well for my clients is a thymus extract. Um, typically your thymus gland is what's going to help um, mediate and regulate and build up your immune system. It's, how, it's what keeps your immune system strong and healthy and it is very, very common to have a poorly functioning thymus gland or an underfunctioning thymus gland, just like your thyroid or adrenals. And supporting your thym thymus glands makes sure that you have a lot of T cells being produced um, and it strengthens that cell mediated immune system or immune response. Um, so those are just a couple of the main supplements. The last couple things is N-acetylcysteine. If you're a client of mine, you probably would have had this supplement at some point in your protocol. It's a fantastic antiviral, but it also helps strengthen and support the liver uh, and its detoxification processes. Highly recommend getting this amino acid in, and you can do this longer term as well if you're supplementing with lysine. Um, and then a couple other things before we finish this off is immune builders. Don't just think supplements. Think food and superfoods. So greens powders like spirulina and chlorella are the best things to take to build up your immune system. You want to get lots of probiotics in and superfoods like chaga, medicinal mushrooms, reishi, cordyceps. Um, these are things that are going to help build up and strengthen that immune system to help fight those viruses. Um, what else do we have? Okay, a couple lifestyle tips before I, I, I uh, kind of wrap up this video. If you are in a flare, um, I have a couple tips here that I've written down, so I'm just seeing which one I'm gonna list first. Um, what you can do is take oregano oil, uh, vitamin E, and mix a little bit of lysine and some coconut oil, so kind of make like a little like a little salve yourself at home. So you do a couple drops of vitamin E, a little bit of lysine, some oregano oil and coconut oil and apply it to the cold sore. That can really help to um, clear that out. Um, it's on that legend, it helps just kind of suppress that outbreak a little bit or halt the outbreak. Um, you can also put an ice cube on it as well. The other couple things is to look at the root cause, guys. So aside from you know doing some topical things, you wanna manage your stress. Stress is one of the biggest things that will flare up a you know a dormant virus so practicing meditations deep breathing hot baths walks exercise these are things to help bring your stress levels down which is so important and everyone overlooks it because they think oh i'm fine i'm not that stressed but stress really negatively impacts the health of your body so do those things but above and beyond you got to get to the root cause at the end of the day viruses cannot stay in your body and take over if it doesn't have an environment in which 
that, that that favors its growth. So if you're if you have a virus and it's and it's flaring up, it's it's active in your body. It means your body's allowing it to be there because your body's too weakened to do anything about it. So change the environment of your body. Alkalize your body. Cut out sugars. Do a good candida and parasite cleanse. Strengthen that immune system. Cleanse your liver and kidneys and your colon. Get toxins out. The more you detox and support your body, and the more you push toxins out the quicker your body can balance and alkalize and regulate. Your immune system will wake up. It'll have less triggers in the body to look at. And what will happen is it'll start to turn its eyes towards the viruses and start targeting the viruses on its own without you even having to do anything. So it's so, so, so important. Um, connect this video to my viral video, my antiviral video, because in there I do talk about hydrosol silver and more specific um, like antiviral um, supplements that you can take just keep in mind that if you have herpes virus you're not going to just jump in by supplementing with oregano oil and hydrosol silver every day and expect it to die off that will just cause a lot of damage to the body you need to go slowly always start by one changing your diet to until it's perfect and when it's almost perfect then you start a gentle detox like a good liver and kidney cleanse and a good colon cleanse with some lemon water and chlorella once you've done that for a little while, then gently start a candida and parasite cleanse and do that for a little while. I have an ebook walking you through exactly how to do a successful candida and parasite cleanse and all the supplements you'll need, as well as food and, and diet and recipes. Um, when that's completed or nearly completed, then go working on viruses. Don't just jump to the virus because you will not clear it from the body. They protect themselves. They morph um, their, their shapes. They go hide inside your cells and tissues. It's very hard for your immune system to target them until it's strong enough. Sorry, so clean out your body first before trying to target the viruses. So connect this video to my antiviral video and hopefully between the two you will have enough tools to really tackle this. Um, homeopathy is the best way to go about it and um, if you're working with me, um, we have a totally different approach to doing this because we're using homeopathics, but if you're doing this on your own, um, the best way to do it is just follow the tips that I gave you. Follow everything that I just mentioned in this video and just do one thing at a time until you're you know, starting to feel better. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you enter this giveaway, which will be in the description box below. I love you all and we'll chat soon. Bye.